Buenos días. Buenas tardes. Buenas noches. Buenos días. Buenas tardes. Buenos días. Buenas tardes. Buenas noches. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Wherever you are, whatever time or day you are listening or watching this, how is it going? Today is Wednesday, so it is hump day. It is Wednesday, May 10th, and it is around, I can't talk right now, sorry. And it is right now, 9.43 a.m. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? How is it going? It's been a while since I have actually created a blog or a podcast. Not the brain dumping that I did, because... That didn't even end up on my YouTube channel since I don't I didn't record it. Um but it's been a while. It's been a while. Let's catch up. What has been going well for you in the last seven days? Let's focus on some good positive vibes, okay? I can definitely use all the positive vibes. Alright. Don't mind my hair. I know it looks like it's all over the place for my YouTubers that can watch me. Um, And I might put this actually on my Spotify podcast video too. So you know what? This is a multi-recording. Ooh, I am multitasking. Go me. Go me. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Get busy. Ooh, ooh. Uh Uh-uh. But anyways, what has been going good for you guys in the last seven days? Like, let's see. I'm going to sit here right now and I'm going to answer the question too. But I got to really think what's been going good in the last seven days. Okay, so Bella has recovered well. She's actually almost at 100%. Her scarring is minimal. So um, it's not going to be a bad scar above her eye. Um... So our rent is paid until June 15th. I don't got to worry about that part. That's definitely a going well. Um, I had my appointment. Excuse me. I had my appointment to assess to see if I can get a nurse. Um, They came to do the evaluation. Because if I can get a nurse, that would just like alleviate so much stress and it would actually help um it wouldn't leave everything on Biva's shoulders so Biva wouldn't feel overwhelmed um it wouldn't make me feel as handicapped because I'm leaving her to do all of this um it, it would just help all across the board it would literally help all across the board so If I can get that prayers, you guys, please, so that I can get this extra assistance that we need that I've been trying to get for two years now, um, I'd appreciate it if you guys can just, you know, ask the big man upstairs for them blessings, because we would def we could definitely use it. Now, I did forget. Hi, you guys. I'm sorry. I always assume that... Everybody that's listening to or watching my content has already watched or heard me before. And I never really introduce myself in the beginning. I just automatically jump in. Um, I'd be forgetting that I can probably have new listeners that are listening for the first time. Don't know me from Adam and are like, oh my God, this lady's like bat crazy. Um, That assumption is not wrong. But there's more to me than just that. And... um. My name is Lynette. I am a life coach for parents. I created a platform, Parenting with Mental Illness, because I was going through a really rough time in my life and my suicidal thoughts were taking complete control over my thinking and my actions. And I made a promise to my oldest daughter, who's autistic, with mental illness as well, um that I would attempt to do everything that I could in my power to be here on this earth as long as I could. I was going to fight this battle. And I went looking for support groups, and I went looking for people that I can 
talk to, that could understand my situation, understand what I was going through, understand what I was dealing with. And I couldn't find, I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find anything out there on the internet. It was either the children had disabilities or the parent had disabilities, but it wasn't where both parent and children had disabilities. So in my household, I have mental illness along with my mental illness. I am also in a wheelchair. Um, I can walk short distance and I can also stand up for a short period of times, but I can't do nothing extraneous or crazy. I can probably pick up clean here a little bit. I can't bend down. Um, but Hold on, I'm getting sidetracked. Okay. And um, I also have two high-functioning autistic children with mental illness as well and suicidal and homicidal just like me. And then I have an atypical preschooler who's going to end up being five years old on the 23rd of this month. And um, my house household dynamic is different. You know, it's unique. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's... It's not like your typical household. And um, when COVID hit, it really hit hard in my household. And it really put us in a really dark and ugly place. And it was a lot going on. So in order for me to keep that promise, I needed to find a way to let go or let out the things that were putting me in bad places mentally. And um, I figured... There's got to be other families in my shoes. I just can't be the only one. There's got to be other people out there that are also looking for support and looking for someone that can understand them and their situation. So I decided, you know what, Lynette? We're going to take your introvert behind and we're going to create parenting with mental illness. You're going to put your life out there. You're going to be an open book. You're going to put your life out there. And you're going to provide support for other people while providing support for yourself. Because this will be therapeutic. You don't like talking to therapists. You really don't like talking to psychiatrists. You be iffy about the people that you talk to and try to let in or not let in. And you be, you know what I'm saying, um... What's the word? I don't know what I'm trying to say. I just, I be real closed off. So I figured this way, I'm still doing social interaction, technically, because I'm socializing with all of y'all. Y'all the anti-social ones that don't socialize with me. Because... I be interacting and socializing with you guys, and I can ask y'all questions, and y'all don't answer them. So, that's not me being antisocial. I'm being social. All right, so I decided to create the platform, and I figured if I tell the whole entire world that I'm doing everything that I can to stay on this earth for my children, I have to hold myself accountable. Because I don't know who else is going to be holding me accountable as well. And I don't want me losing the battle be the reason why they give up or they lose the battle. So I put the pressure on myself. And so far, it's been working. So far, I'm still here. I'm still here. Boo-boo, can you open the curtain? I'm still here, like... What can I say? You know what I'm saying? I'm still here. It works. So, I attempted to be on as many platforms as I can because I don't want to miss out on the opportunity of providing as much support and help as I can to as many people that may need it, you know what I'm saying? Or teaching lessons or just letting someone know you're not alone. So if it's not open all the way, baby. I know, I don't know 
why it's not working for you. I'm coming. Um, sissy coming. Hold on, y'all. I'm thirsty. Can I say hi? Yeah, you can say hi. Come on. Hi. You gotta talk too because the podcast is also recording and they can't well. see. So let's 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 clarify one thing. This is lyrical and sorry, this is lyrical and she's my baby. She's the youngest. She's the one that's going to be five on the twenty third of this month. Right, baby girl? And she loves to be on my content. She loves, loves, loves to be a part of my content. So you guys will hear her, see her. Um, We do live in an extended stay, so it's a one room. I don't have the space that um I would like to be able to provide y'all my undivided and your attention. And has holes under your tongue. Okay, but low key, I was talking. <laughs> and th- things like this that just happened right now will happen while I'm trying to record content. So just be patient, be kind, be understanding. I am doing all this as best as I can. I'm trying to get all of our accounts monetized so that we can have extra income, so that hopefully we can get our own place. And not have to be in an extended stay anymore and be able to buy our, our handicapped wheelchair accessible van, like, so that we can finally have freedom. And I'm trying to do the best that I can. No, it's not closed all the way, Mama. I'm trying to do the best that I can in the situation that we Mom, are in. Look that it came out. Yeah, but before it wasn't closed all the way. Now no. it is. No, it's not. Okay, what, what do I want that for? And then... Can you close this on the way? <laughs> that one right there, you guys. Sorry, podcasters. I know y'all can't see unless I put the video up. But that one right there is my oldest. She's Biva. Yo, watch out. <laughs> She's my high-functioning autistic with the mental illness who's also suicidal and homicidal. <laughs> Um, that is my rock. She is my rock. No, no, you're rock. You're my rock, too. <coughs> but you're my rock in a different way than your sister is. I have, I have donut buns. Okay. <laughs> this one, this one's hot. And this one's cold. Okay. Alright. Okay. So, y'all have, y'all have holes. Oh, and... <laughs> I'm about to attack yeah, so. <laughs> you. Come here. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got about two more minutes on Lyrical Show, and I'm taking my show back. <laughs> So, stop. Ow. <laughs> stop. Then ask nicely. And then, you're going to have bu- bubble gum for your birthday. <laughs> oh, oh, talking about birthday. So, do you want to tell them what you want for your birthday? Mm-hmm. I want bubble gum for my birthday. And a princess unicorn birthday. So you want a princess unicorn birthday? Uh-huh. What else do you want for your birthday? Hmm. You have a whole bunch when they come on TV, but when you, when it's on the spot, you never know. I would have loved it! You want a lot of what? Can you not yell at them? Because they didn't do anything to you. Okay. I think you owe them a low-key apology. Sorry. 
<laughs> Don't yell at them. They didn't do anything to you, mama. <laughs> I know you get excited, but you got to remember <laughs> for the podcasters, you're coming out in their ears and that's loud. All right, we don't want to okay. bust nobody's eardrums, mama. Okay. All right, so now you said you want a lot of toys. Okay. Anything else you want? I want a no, princess you know. unicorn cake. A princess unicorn cake? Anything else you want? I want a lot of toys. Huh? A more loud toys and a more loud toys. Anything else? Why are you touching me with your foot? Alright, so I'm taking this show back. So yeah, I gotta take this. Alright, well, key, you guys. You see everything that she's asking for? I want to try to get his, you know, I want to try to have a good birthday for her, but I don't have the funds. Um, <laughs> uh, we are, we, we're surviving on disability only, disability for the three of us, and, um, <laughs> we don't have the extra funds, so, like, I want to try to at least get her to the beach for her birthday, like we did last year, so that she can have <laughs> a good day, and be able to just enjoy being out of this space, <laughs> and, um, if you guys can help, I'd appreciate it, that would be awesome. <laughs> Um, y'all can cash app. That'd be great. Um, my cash app is in my link. It's in my link tree. And it's in my bio. That'd be awesome. Her birthday's on the 23rd. And if y'all think I'm BSing, y'all can search up Lyrical's birthday and a couple of different videos should pop up and you'll see the time date. My baby was born May 23rd, 2018. Love. But anyways, back to oh no. You okay? Are you okay? <laughs> Come on, mama. I think you got more scared than anything because you weren't expecting that. I would do. She twist and sat down when she was getting up. You're okay, my butt butt. Better now. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to work here. <laughs> I'm trying to Wait, work. how can this how can they not see my tears? I don't know, but I'm trying to work here. Careful. You can still work. I can. You're on. You know what? Put them up.
You mentioned sausage. Sausage sounds good. <coughs> okay, you have to take your payments anyways. <laughs> Yo, we gotta clean. I know, I know. Can I have my second cup of coffee though first, please? Oh, uh, I'm. I was just looking at all the. I know that's why I'm saying come back to me. Come back to them. Oh and yeah, those... I'm recording right now. Oh, What's yeah! up? What's up? What's up? You're not letting me work. <laughs> this is why mommy sometimes doesn't give you a chance. Now Boo Boo's gonna get snatched by sissy. Because Boo Boo doesn't know how to just turn off the the lights, action camera. Yes, I do. So mommy Look. can work. Don't, don't touch. Don't touch. Why I turn off the light and camera? No, I said lights, action, and camera. That's different than what you're talking about. I'm saying you like to have the spotlight on you. You like when I'm recording. You like when, you know, other people are watching. You don't know how to s turn that off. She is not listening. Correct. I'm working and... All right, seriously, it's time to... um. Turn Come the play on, button girl. off, please. I mean, no, not that. The one in your head. Correct. Let's go. I'm not in play <laughs> mode anymore. But, but. Uh, I want to still record no. with you. But you're not letting, the point is you're not letting me focus, baby. You get. No. <laughs> no. Sorry, y'all. I love her to death, but she will sidetrack me. And then I'll forget. Like, I forgot I was doing a little intro. There's something wrong with that contact, and it's Don't bothering me. Don't let me fall me. this time. Too late. Um, but my mm. other child is in school. Mm. He's in school. So my oldest is 20. My middle child, my son, my only boy, he's 14. And then the little one is four. But um, this is just basically our life story, the things that we go through, the things that we deal with. Um, trials and tribulations, struggles, wins. Um, I, if I can teach somebody through my life experiences how to avoid certain situations and I feel like it's worth you know it's worth me being on here um so being a life coach I feel like At least for me, with the way my mental health is and how I look at things, I always feel like people try to be perfect and portray like their life is the best life. There's really something wrong with that contact. Yeah, 
I don't know what it is, but it is <laughs> nagging me. <coughs> um, sorry, y'all. I really forgot what I was stop? saying. It's this contact. It's bothering me. Like, I can't look to the right because it's bothering me, and I don't understand why. Every time I take it out and I clean it, there's nothing there. There's no tear, no scratch. Nothing, it's just annoying. Um, I was saying something. What was I saying? What was I saying? Lord. Sorry. Oh, life coach. I feel like. People, you know, I, the way that I look at it, you know, my mental illness and everything else, people are always so busy trying to pretend like everything's okay and like they're perfect and like they got it together and like, um, they have no troubles in the world, they don't have no cares, nothing like that. That's not really how life is though. Life has roadblocks. It does knock you down. You get back up, and then, you know, sometimes it can knock you back down again. I feel like my raw experience and what I deal with and what I go through allows me to be so open-minded when I deal with other people and their situations and their goals, their ambitions, their motivation, their inspiration. It allows me to think outside the box so that I can help and bring forward the best out of people. And... At first, when I started this journey, I was so worried about people are going to be like, oh, my God, girl, you don't even got your life together. Oh, my God, girl, you don't even got your life together. Like, I really honestly thought that that's how it was going to be. And, like, in my mind, I was just like, who are you? You're an imposter. Like, you're living an extended stay, bro. Like, you're in a wheelchair. Like... You got mental illness. Like, you're not going to accomplish any of these goals that you want. And I stopped posting content for a while. I used my teeth as an excuse since my two front teeth fell out. And my other teeth are just going because of my mental health. I didn't take care of my dental hygiene how I should have. And have, you know, my consequences of it that I have to deal with now. And at one point, I was using that as an excuse to not show up. I was using that as an excuse to not be there and present. But guess what? I'm the type of person that I really don't care what people got to say. Because I pay for my own bills. I feed my own children. I bust my ass for me and mine. My bills are not paid by anybody else but me. So why would I care other people's opinions and thoughts and may sometimes irritate me and make me mad in a sense of like why just waste your time commenting that or throwing your energy my way when I don't need it but I know it doesn't make me or break me and because I know all these things and I'm confident within myself and what I know I can and can't do Why am I not showing up? So why can't I be a life coach? And why can't I be good at it? Because I am pretty good at it. Like, I'm really good at it. Especially when it comes to other people's lives. Some people just have that skill where they can get everybody else together, on task, on the right road. But when it comes to their own, they second doubt so much, they keep falling and they crash. I'm just being realistic and I'm being honest and I'm just keeping it a book. Um, I might do, I'm going to be doing a part two, part two, because I'm already coming into 30 minutes and, um, a lot of people don't watch my content all the way through. So I'll be trying not to make it too long. Um, plus for those that are listening, I want y'all to be able to get a, a second to breathe instead of just hearing me talk, talk, talk. So I'll be putting a second part to this one. All right. So I will be back.